What's up, everybody? We are back. John Delarose here. Delarose.com, D-E-L-A-R-R-O-Z.com. I've got a link to a newsletter and my Amazon page in the description below. If you like my taste in comics, I am a comic creator, and I hope you will check out some of my work. Um, you can get that there, and I appreciate everybody who does so. This is a book called Censor by uh, Junji Ito, and it's a manga. And uh, I bought this because, one, the cover was... Uh, kind of neat. It had that little gold thing. It just caught my eye, you know. Um, looked, really, looked really cool and weird. And it turned out it was really cool and weird. And this is really popular right now. Uh, it's selling very well on InStockTrades.com, one, one of the most popular ones. The art is absolutely stunning on the inside. It's a very, very bizarre story. There's this girl, and, she, and uh, she's kind of trekking around this active volcano. And uh, these weird golden strands of hair or whatever are covering everything. And they say it's like a precursor to the volcano going off. And uh, she shows up to this village. The volcano sets off. And then she, like, gets caught up in this thing uh, right here where she gets, I don't know if she gets caught up with a demon or some sort of god or something. Uh, but she's trapped there. Uh, eventually, it switches over. And she, she comes out of a cocoon like she's... Very, very bizarre. <laughs> Eventually, this reporter comes out. I do love the art. It's not it's not exactly a normal manga style. It's like they kind of blended. You, you know how uh, American artists tend to add manga style to what they do, and it looks like American manga style? This is kind of the opposite. It's, it looks like they've added American style a little bit to the manga uh, and, and created something a different look in this, which is very detailed and very nice. I love the art through this. Storytelling's really good. I, I love the, like... You, look at this panel here. It's just, it's just quote, strands of hair. You really get the sense of motion from it. Very neat stuff. The reporter finds her, comes after her, and there's, like, this adventure. Like, like she's getting strung up by this cult, um, and there's another guy who's, like, claiming to be, like, her nemesis, sort of, uh, as, a, as a demon. They go back in time. We, we go over their histories uh, and just how she's kind of been abused and... It's it's a very weird story, <laughs> but eventually it all ties up, uh, and it all and it all comes back to the start in like this like sort of full circle manner after all these weird uh, sort of uh, supernatural incidents happen over the course of time. You you, you kind of don't know what's real and what's not uh, through all of this, and uh, she kind of ascends into this like different being state over the course of it. It's just bizarre. And uh, eventually, it all kind of resolves itself. So, uh, <laughs> it is part of the volcano effort was like, I guess there's this missionary who showed up a long time ago, who uh, got thrown into the volcano, uh, because it was illegal to be a missionary by the Shogun at the time. And they threw a bunch of these people into the volcano. Uh, and it's it's it all ties in together because they all kind of pass through time as this occurs. Uh, it's it's a it's a really really odd thing, <laughs> but I enjoyed it uh, as much as as much as like I was like hmm this is this is weird. It was cool and creative, and I appreciate that. So uh, a good read. I'd call this an eight out of ten overall. Love the art. Uh, cool story concept. Makes me want to do something arty and, and different myself. We'll see uh, how this stands the test of time. Uh, but it's a single it's a single volume story. Uh, the artist does say he'd like to return to these characters in the future, so I guess we'll see what happens on that regard. Hit the like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.